Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl Coco Renell, and I am here with another video. If you recognize this shirt from, oops, from a previous video, either my um, pregnancy, the last few weeks of my pregnancy journey, um, I did a whole week's worth, of, a week and a half worth of vlogs. So this shirt I wore the week that I thought I would wear. I'm wearing, I'm recording it the same day that I recorded the last part of that video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be going into labor anytime soon or not, but I was so last minute with doing my hospital bag. I legit just packed it and I'm 37 weeks. <laughs> I just packed me and my husband and the baby's uh, hospital bag. I'm not going to show his because he said it's some, it's still some more stuff that, well, he didn't say, but it's still some more stuff that, um, he needs that I'm washing right now um that's going in his bag so I'm just gonna start off with my bag and then in the exciting part which is the baby's bag um oh if this is your first time watching hey my name is Coco Renell I am a mom of three and a half I am 37 weeks pregnant and I don't know what that this makes it my fourth pregnancy and if um on things the things on my channel you'll find it's motherhood videos cleaning videos organizational videos business videos and if and much much more if those are things you're interested in consider subscribing so my bad guys i did not mean not to do my intro um excuse my breathing like i said i'm 37 weeks pregnant and i'm over it so I'm just using my handy dandy, which is very spacious, um, Tommy Hilfiger bag that I got from Burlington, or what my husband got for me. No, he didn't get it from Burlington, but my husband got it for me about, I want to say a year or maybe two years ago for my birthday, and this is legit my favorite bag. So I'm just going in, just uh, pulling out stuff. Here is a nursing tank that I plan on wearing up under my robe um and this is just real convenient because it legit just snaps on and off see and then i can go on about my business and then we we're not gonna have guests because unfortunately i am giving birth during this pandemic so yeah i don't have to worry about visitors or anything of that sort so i can honestly just wear that then I have, this is an extra scarf for me, but my sanit, my sanit, <laughs> my satin scarf. And then I also have my husband's do-rag. I threw it in here because I know um, he might forget, but I might end up just packing his bag anyway. Next is a pair of PJs. Or no, I'm sorry. I was going to wear my nursing tank and maybe my pj bottoms i have like two um pajama bottoms in here i probably won't even wear them because i'm gonna have those mesh undies on and next i have two nursing bras one in black and one in white just plain old nursing bra bras that i got from target and these snap as well snap take out the book snack it back I got all three of these from Target. And next I just have umpty pair of socks because my feet get extremely cold and then it's already cold in the um, hospital anyway. I also have two outfits. I don't really think it's necessary, but I'll just show you one of them on hands and i'm wearing all black for the most part this is a um game of thrones shirt that my husband got me that i absolutely love it says mother of dragons because i like the show game of thrones and then she had three dragons just like i have three girls but now i have four and then i just have some um yoga pants or leggings and then that's pretty much the gist of the outfit. It's just a regular shirt and like yoga pants or leggings. 
um depending i have three pair this one has a band on it the ones that i'm wearing now i'm actually going to wash them because these are my only maternity leggings i more than likely will probably wear these out depending on if my stomach shrinks back um like it does like it does with, like it did <laughs> with my previous pregnancies because with this one i'm actually a lot bigger than what i've been in the past so i just assumed that i'll just be more comfortable in my maternity ones and then like i said i have two more outfits it's just a plain old black pair of leggings and a plain old black shirt it could be a graphic i think it's like two other graphic shirts in here one is harry potter and then the other one is just plain and then i have my tummy cocoa butter tummy butter stretch mark cream i'm bringing that as well and then i probably won't end up using this lotion but this is one one of my favorite body creams from um bath and body works it's the rose water and ivory and then there's other things that i'm gonna end up putting in there um once i do finally go on labor like my toothbrush um i do have a travel pack but i haven't put it in in here yet i probably should have but i do have a little travel pack pack that has a toothbrush in it um toothpaste body wash body wash i don't need i'm not going to use the lotion um i have a little travel size of vaseline my skincare isn't in a travel size but i am just gonna throw that in the back because i'm still currently wearing it once i finally do go into labor and then um i want to say that's it i'm not going to bring any pads or none of my um my undies or anything like that i end up ordering the postpartum kit i want to try that out from uh freedom mom i'll insert a picture right here so you guys know what it looks like um i end up ordering that just you know just to see what the kit is about but the hospital for the most part provides everything that you need postpartum and i don't feel like i need to be bringing a whole bunch of extra things if it's already going to be readily available for me at the hospital so that's honestly it just a few things i have to add when that time does come for myself and for my husband and our bags and then that's it um because my ob hasn't told me how or hasn't notified me yet how long we could or could not be in the hospital with the pandemic still going on i me and my husband both will pack three outfits and then i also pack three outfits or maybe four for the baby and now uh-oh dropping stuff now we move on to baby girl's bag and my mom got us this bag this is what i'm probably just gonna use just for the hospital because i did end up getting her this really really cute <laughs> um kate spade diaper bag and it's bigger um why do i keep saying um i'm sorry guys but this is good for just just for the hospital because i don't have to put a whole bunch of stuff in it i do need i am going to need that kate spade bag because when i do return to work um i'm going to pump and i want to have enough space to be able to store my milk when she goes with my grandmother-in-law because that's probably who she'll spend majority of her time with because she uh she pretty much babysits our, our girls when we have to work so again i'm just going right in i have this little sleeper oh my god baby clothes infant clothes are so freaking cute i washed all of her stuff so it smells like drift and i love it um i like the zipper type of sleepers because you can zip it down go ahead and change them zip it right on back up i don't have time oops this starts sucking she ain't even worried yet I don't have time to be buttoning stuff so mom tip get you some sleepers with the zipper okay and sleepers that have the little um finger covers on the end i think these are called mittens too but these are so convenient just because uh, with them being so little although their nails are fine they still end up scratching themselves and then i got a second a second sleeper 
which looks just like this. It has clouds and stars and butterflies on it. Let me bring it closer. And again, it has that same mitten on it. And it also zips. I'm telling you, these are the best things ever invented. <clears throat> All right, that's that. Now, moving on, I did bring a couple. Oh, girl, I didn't realize I put this many in here, but I have a few, a few receiving blankets. This one says milk on it. It's just plain black and white. This one has I love milk on it. And this is just a plain gray one, striped one, and a white one. I thought I put her my muslin swaddle in here, but I think that's that hat I'm gonna wash it because we just we just end up getting it, so I have to wash it. So and then my favorite thing ever. These were not out when my two-year-old was a baby and she didn't like nothing on her head anyway. But these little things is so stinking cute. I cannot wait to put this on her head. I have this one. I only got two. I ain't going crazy yet. <laughs> and then I got this one. It is so stinking cute. Then I have five onesies because I don't know if I'm going to actually put the outfits on her, but just plain old white onesies or if I'm just going to keep her swaddled and just put a onesie on her. She has plenty of little baby socks. I'll open it up. They just plain little socks. So this one is a little kitten. And I think the other ones are just plain, just plain old little socks. Yep. Just plain baby socks. So I got her plenty of socks because like I said in the hospital, it is pretty cold. Um, I might have to downsize this bag. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's more socks in here. She ain't gonna need that many socks. I have mittens as well, but this is if I don't put the um the sleepers on her and I just and I just end up doing the um just the onesies. I'll end up putting these minute mittens on her and she has two pair of those. I have another sleeper in a different size. These two sleepers are a newborn and this one is a zero to three because I don't know exactly what size she is this is a sleeper that zips but it doesn't have the um the fold over hands on it but this is like a little i think this is a teddy bear ballerina teddy bear it's super cute but i wanted to get two different sizes just in case because she is pretty big and she's measuring pretty big so i just wanted to be on the safe side and the same thing with this one this is a zero to three and this has little stars on them, but it doesn't have those. But like I said, she has mittens. If I do decide to put, if she does, if she is a little bit too big for the newborn, then the a zero to three, I'll end up having mittens for. That was the other pair of mittens. This is maybe her going home outfit. I thought this was cute. Too stinking cute. My mom got it for, it comes with a little um jumper and um this little dress too cute but this is a newborn so if she cannot fit newborns then i'll probably just end up giving it um giving it away to a mom that i know or something in one of my mom groups and here i literally like went crazy with the socks there's more socks in here <laughs> and this one Okay, these three. These three came in a pack. This is the last one in a pack. And it says Twinkle Twinkle on it. Again, with the zipper. No fold over. But it's zero to three. So, 
those are the two sizes that I feel like she may be in, either a newborn or a Zelda 3. My bad, guys. So her first actual picture, because I don't think I'm going to be taking pictures at the hospital. That outfit, I'm not going to show because I want to uh, reveal in her actual pictures. But it's one of those swaddles with a little um, turban hat. It's too cute. And lastly, I just have this little um, plain little bear outfit and it's just a top and a hat this is a newborn now i got this because i don't know if i ever said this or not but when i first oh and it also has the pullover sleeves when i was first told the gender of this baby baby girl I was told that we were having a little boy. So that was the outfit that I went to get, right? Luckily, um, see, I have three mittens. Well, I guess three isn't bad, but I have like eight pair of socks, right? <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm just going to put these back in here. I don't need that many socks. Um, oh, and then I have her headbands. I'm probably not even going to use them like that because I'll play dress up more so when we get home. But anyway, when I was first, when we were first told about the gender of the baby, I was told that we were having a boy. Um, But something, I don't know, I just wasn't sold that we were having a boy. I knew deep down inside that we were going to have another girl. So I went ahead and took a sneak peek test and that test said girl. <laughs> so um, when I finally had my ultrasound, that's when the ultrasound tech had confirmed that it was a little girl. But then she's like, wait a minute, I think I see whatever. Then it was like, um, well maybe because I was 12 weeks at that time. Maybe um, we'll check back at 20 weeks. So at 20 weeks is when we finally found out that she was a girl. But I already knew because the sneak peek test was is proven to be pretty accurate. And I trusted it. So that was that. Um I'm not putting I'm not putting any diapers in here because the hospital provides diapers. And um I'm not doing wipes either because they provide that. I am, she's probably not going to use this, but I do, I, it is washed, but I will wash it again. And I, oh, I have also little um, pacifier wipes in here as well. But uh, I'm going to bring a pacifier just in case she may not even need it. And then although I'm breastfeeding, we had, oh, I can't get this out. We had a really hard time with my third daughter to get her to latch on to a bottle she did well it wasn't even a latch on she would latch on to a bottle but she just didn't want it she wanted <laughs> so i exclusively breastfed for almost for over two years with her because she did not want to drink out of a bottle and it was partially my fault because i really wasn't pressing the issue and yeah it was pretty stressful <laughs> that was pretty stressful so i don't want to go through that again Avent is literally, or Avent, I don't know. I think it's Avent. It's literally my favorite brand of bottles. I have yet to try Dr. Brown. I do want to try Dr. Brown um, because my sister, she also just had a baby. And that's what she, well, my mom recommends for me to, to use. Uh, she really likes those bottles. So I might end up buying one or buying a set just to see how she does. But I just wanted to bring this bottle just in case because i know one my supply is already coming in so i won't have an issue with supply and two um i just want to see how she'll do as far as latching on to a bottle and um different so she doesn't have nipple confusion 
um this is literally the closest nipple to mine so yeah but her body wash and things like that i'm probably going if we're only going to be there for a day then i'm probably going to exit out on her getting her first bath at the hospital because i want to keep that um i can't think of the word right now on her body as long as possible i do plan on um delayed clamping um so that's one thing and yeah if we're only going to be there for a day maybe two days I'm not going to bring wipes. I'm not going to bring diapers. I am going to bring her pacifier and the bottle and then just clothes. And that's about it. Once the muslim uh, swaddle is is uh, clean, I'll put that in her bag. But that's honestly it. Like, you don't really... Oh, and we are going to bring her car seat it's over there i don't feel like getting up it's gonna take me a while <laughs> but we do have to bring her car seat because we have we once we get in the hospital of course my husband can't leave and then come back and then or oh, another thing that i forgot to mention is my um because i'm a nurse and i work for a hospital my job ended up sending a care kit with um umpteen amount of gloves disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer but we done already been through that but we do have uh wipes and i mean we do have masks and gloves and stuff left so i'm gonna put some mask in there um i may put the gloves in there but i feel like it defeats the purpose if you're wearing a pair of gloves and then you touching all over everything you know like i don't know i'm just used to when i care for one patient i use those gloves for one patient i take them off wash my hands and move to the next but not everybody thinks that way so i know for sure i'm going to pack us some masks to take to the hospital because i know we have to wear them and then you know get the last minute items that we need once i finally do go into labor but that is it that is what's in me and baby's hospital bag i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in another video